Hey, what's going on guys? Killing Thompson back in the video, and today I have another foreign ration unboxing. This one we have is the Russian Mountain 24-hour ration for Special Forces in the Russian Army. Last video we did was a Russian 24-hour ration, an individual meal one, and it seems like there's a lot of them. So it it may be very complicated and may make you question well, what's the difference between the last one that we did to this one or this one from the last one and the Emory Star uh, Russian ration and all the other ones that exist in the Russian army. Well, that's what we're going to find out with this one and see what's really any different. Now, considering it is a mountain ration, I'm probably going to assume that it is for high altitudes and probably cold weather or whatnot. Maybe there's freeze dried stuff or dehydrated, but that's what we're going to find out today. So, from what I've read on it, uh, this has a little over 5,000 calories. Way plenty enough calories for a daily intake. Um, as much as the 24 hour rations or 48 hour, 72 hour, and so on forth. You could definitely prolong this to a couple of days worth of food if you really had to. In a, in a strict situation. But we're going to see. I have a feel I have a strong feeling that I'm gonna like what we got. I did tear it on the bottom by accident. I didn't open it yet. Um, but yeah, I know some people wanted me to try the, uh, 24 hour ration, and there's the bag, with all the content on the back. I know there was some comments on my last video yesterday that people wanted me to try, uh, the Russian 24 hour, which I will do a follow up video on what what the channel is going to be on forth because I would like to give you guys an update or kind of a setback kind of intake on everything because I feel like it's needed especially now um but yeah let's go ahead and see it does open up from the front like that which is kind of odd instead of just on the side here maybe easier and there you go now from what we can see, um, this reminds me of the other mountain ration I bought, uh, I think a year and a half ago or something. That one was, I think, dated till 2020 or 2019 or 2021. I don't remember, but I do know that it's about a year old. Probably still good, considering that if these are stored in good conditions, then they should be fine. So, from the top, from what we can see, is FRHs. That's a piece of tape, so it just stays nice and impact good. There's going to be a lot of food, so we're going to have to uh, tweak it a bit. So, I did find out also from another comment, which I think any of these that I have in any of these, I'm probably going to end up marking because I'll end up forgetting. Uh, green packs are for the cutlery, white ones are for your hands. And the reason why is because in the Russian rations, they have green uh, spoons or cutlery, and that's how you'll know that these are for that. But if you have white ones for some reason, or somehow, uh, you're gonna think that's the white ones when it's the other way around so we have some kind of powder or what sounds like rice same thing here i'm going to assume that these are uh either porridges of some sort or whatnot and as you can see there's still a lot of food in there but um i'll translate these two and we'll be right back all right Translated all these three. This one is a rice soup with beef or meat. 
This one is a porridge with meat, probably beef. And then this one is a another sort of porridge with raisins. And it's a sweet one, so that's a dessert one. Okay. That should stay like that. Uh, let's see, we have some sugars. I'll just put that coffee over there. Some sugar. These are 20, so we have 60 grams of sugar. And like I said, the, the Russian army for their sugars, I think even um, German uh, ra uh, rations and a couple other different ones have loads of sugar. Now, I don't know if that's just because they like their coffee and tea sweet or whatnot, or they just want to make sure someone doesn't have to uh, bargain for a pack of sugar or whatnot, but that's a lot of sugar just for some coffee or whatnot. And got some salt. Those are lovely. We got isotonic drinks. I think these are all going to pretty much be the same flavor. Um, I have... I have translated similar of these. They're just isotonic drink, isotonic drinks. They're not really any special uh, kind of um, flavor, which is kind of disappointing. You would think that there would be different flavors, but not really. It seems. We'll put drinks there. There's coffee, of course. That doesn't really change. Two teas. We are running out of room, so we will have to kind of move this from the side. And we'll have to kind of work it. Alright, so we have another packet. Um, from what I can tell by feel... Uh, the best way to describe it would probably have to be some kind of meat, and it's jelly or fat, so it could probably be anything between beef, chicken, pork, but most of these are always chicken and beef. Um, we'll translate that in a moment. We have another one, also feels like almost like a jelly consistency. Yeah. Okay, we have folding stove. Like I said before, I have a bunch of these. I probably have at least about 10 or 15 Espit stoves coming from either uh, Russia, uh, the, Brit, uh, the Brits, or I don't remember if the Britain rations or the British rations have them or not. I don't remember. But. I have so many of them, it's not even... I'll be good, pretty much. We got a main. So that's nice. We'll also translate that, don't you worry. Got some of that apple butter or apple jelly. I absolutely love this stuff. Throw these in your American rations, and we'll be all good. Maybe just not the Russian ones, they just have... Your own kind. Um, I don't think I'm gonna translate this because it, the best way. Well, I've seen these before. Um, these are fruit bars because there is no feel of granola or oats, so this is most likely a fruit bar. Um, this can't be a chocolate bar, so that's probably a fruit bar right there. I mean, I will translate just to translate, but sure, right. Matches. Also, got some more of that chocolate spread. I absolutely love this. You could even have that just as a little dessert. You don't even need to have anything else. Some pepper. Kind of weird that they have a lot of salt, but they don't got a lot of pepper. Um, you got one of these. Um, I know there's probably some people out there that have tried Russian rations or have unboxed them just like as, so as myself as this one. 
and figuring out, well, what's this? Usually you would think it's because you can use it as defense. Well, that I would say no. These are actually for to open up your packs. If you don't have a blade, then as an example, you would take one of these, rip it, and then you can get inside. That is the purpose of these. And if you really want to use it as a weapon, it really wouldn't work very well because it's not sharp enough. It's not even pointing on the end. So, eh, it's okay. And what I think is very complimentary and very uh, convenient, five dark chocolate chocolate bars. Very, very nice. You definitely could prolong this. If you got 24... And it's one 24 hour ration for a day. You could use these as bartering chips in a way. You could barter this for probably a, a meal uh, entree that someone doesn't want. If they don't want a chicken um, main, hey, I want that chicken, whatever, I want that chicken and meat, chi uh, chicken and sauce. I'll give you two chocolate bars for it. And if they like chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate, whatever have you, then they probably wouldn't care. They probably just want to get rid of that. Or if they can't have it, or whatnot. This. This is cheese. Um, best way to really know why. Well, we definitely know it's not going to be anything dairy. That's uh, going to have to be cold, like anything, a sour cream, cream cheese, and all that. That, that is right there. Looks like cheese. And knowing from the feel, it does not feel like pate. And just from experience of trying things, you nine times out of ten, you're always going to get canned cheese in a Russian ration. Unless customs decide to be, you know, very nasty and just take it all. Alright, something I think we're not going to be able to fit on the table because there's no room. We have five hardtack crackers, or panzer sheets, or tooth breakers. Okay, yeah. The last ration didn't have green spoons. These ones have green spoons. Don't know if it's because of the date, the manufacturer, no clue. But we have it. Um... See, we have four wide purification tablets, and we have little sleeves on the bottom. I'm not gonna bother taking them out because there's nothing really special about them. Couple napkins, and you get another main. So let me go ahead and translate. The two mains and the two other little tiny pouches. I'll even translate this and this for you guys. Just in case if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, let me go ahead and do that and we're back. Alright, so just what I expected. I checked everything that I did not show or whatnot. Um, so we translated everything. So this one. One of my favorites, it doesn't look anything, it looks like a dang taco or an empanada. <laughs> it's actually buckwheat with beef. One of my favorite things of the Russian 24-hour rations. Getting buckwheat with beef is a heavenly meal. I would just eat that and I'd be, that would be it, that would be my meal. Next up we have right here, uh, this is actually pasta with beef. Um, I don't know what kind of pasta. It could be any kind of pasta. Knowing that it is very, uh, soft and kind of almost feels like jelly in a way. Or more like paste. I don't know how to describe it. Um, it'd be kind of hard for it to be anything sort of <laughs> pasta form. We also have, this translates to great sausage, and that's an amateur. Don't know what that's about, but pretty much probably just a sausage 
or like a, like a like a breakfast like ham like pate or some sort but that's probably something you would have maybe for breakfast but that porridge or that buckwheat and beef would be my breakfast hands down then we also have the beef shredded in sauce don't know what kind of sauce it could just be in its own fat and stuff and I was right on these two things. This is canned proce uh, processed cheese. And this one is a fruit snack bar. Um, I think it said it was apricots. Uh, I may be wrong though. But that's... I will move this back actually to show you guys that this is a lot, a lot of food. So, you got the mains there, the other two things there. We have your drinks, your three different kind of porridges or rice soups, your crackers, your chocolate, your jelly, cheese, the opening tool, some pepper, your spoons, your coffee, napkins, wood purification tablets. We have sugars, all your sanitizing wipes, Matches and your Espet stove, your Nutella or chocolate spread, however you want to put it, and also have your two heaters. Now, you could eat these cold if you'd like to, and you could keep the heaters for maybe boiling water or keeping yourself warm in high altitudes and cold climates. Those I would probably just keep in general. I won't even use them for cooking because I have stoves and I have uh, fuel tablets and all so above. But this is quite a lot of food. And this is very similar to the other uh, mountain ration I have uh, set back. Um, I think the next ration we will check out is the Sturm. Uh, 20, I think that's the 8 hour one. We'll check out that one next video. And then after that, um, we will do a follow up on uh, what we're looking at for future videos and stuff like that. Because I feel like it's needed and just to give an insight and everything. But as always guys, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel down below. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out future videos I post, rations I try out in a review. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day, guys.